السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس نائنتھ گرلز ہائی اسکول کلام آباد ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ دی سیکنڈ چیپٹر آف دی کیمسٹری سیکشن دیٹ از از میٹر اراؤنڈ آس پیور اٹ از دا نیم آف دی لیسن از میٹر اراؤنڈ آس پیور سو دس از اے مارک of question this is a question mark that is the matter is it pure which is around us so dear students in the previous lesson we have studies that matter is any substance which occupies space and has a mass and to modify the definition of matter we will define the matter as the substance which is made up of small particles that we call as atoms so all the matter is made up of the fundamental particles they are very very small particles that we call as the atoms whether it is a solid state it is a liquid state it is a gaseous state all the states or made up of the tiny particles that we call as the matter so here in this lesson we will first categorize the matter into two parts we can categorize the matter into pure substances and impure substances impure substances are also called as the mixtures so far as the pure substances are concerned pure substances or those substances which are made up of same kind of particles or atoms so pure substances means the substance which is made up of the same kind of particles the identical kind of particles or we can say the identical of atoms or molecules so for example if we say a honey is pure in the common language we say that the honey is pure but when we see the composition of the honey we see a honey can consists of the sugar particles it consists of the water molecules it consists of carbohydrates it consists of some of the enzymes so we can say that honey consists of different kinds of particles different kinds of atoms so we can say that honey is not a pure substance in chemistry because it is made up of the sugar water carbohydrates enzymes so in the common language we say pure honey is a pure when it does not contain any of the adulterant when it does not contain any of the adulterants for example we add uh, sugar to honey so that the its mass may be increased with which we get more money that is for the our economy gains we make the honey impure but in actual sense honey is not a pure substance it is an impure substance because it contains sugar particles it contains water carbohydrates enzymes so in chemistry we say that a pure substance is that substance which is made up of only same kind of particles only one kind of particles and on the basis Uh, and these pure substances are classified into elements and they are compounds so pure substances are again classified into elements and compounds the elements are again classified into metals some of the pure substances are non metals some are metalloids and compounds are classified as the acids some are bases some are salts so this pure substances are again defined as those substances which are only made up of the same kind of particles or the same kind of atoms and these pure substances in chemistry they may be the elements and they may be the compounds the elements are again subdivided into the metals non metals and metalloids and the compounds are categorized into acids bases and salts so far the impure substances are concerned or the mixtures 
we can see there are those substances which are made up of different kinds of particles so in the impure substances we have different kinds of particles we have different kinds of particles that are different kinds of atoms and these impure substances are classified into homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures the homogeneous mixtures are again classified into solutions and these solutions are may be the aqueous solution and they may be the non aqueous solution they may be the saturated solutions or they may be the unsaturated solutions and the homogeneous mixtures they may be suspensions and they may be colloids so dear students today we will just learn the outline of the matter around us we will just learn the different types of names of different types of pure substances and impure substances so once again i will try to make you understand that a matter is classified into pure substances and impure substances pure substances are again classified into elements and compounds elements are again classified into metals non metals and metalloids the compounds are classified into acids bases and salts impure substances are classified as homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures homogeneous mixtures may be the solutions which may be the aqueous solutions and saturated solutions or it may be non aqueous solutions or we can say the unsaturated solutions so these are different solutions aqueous solution and non aqueous solution saturated solution and non saturated solution and the heterogeneous mixture is classified into suspensions and colloids so dear students in the next video we will try to understand what are pure substances what are elements what are compounds what are metals non metals metalloids and in the next video we will discuss about the impure substances their types homogeneous mixtures heterogeneous mixtures solutions suspensions colloids aqueous solutions non aqueous solutions saturated solutions non saturated or unsaturated solutions we will learn in the different videos dear students stay connected